Hey guys, Maggie here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you all how to set up stream for Twitch TV and I mean for MapleStory. How to set up your MapleStory stream. So, okay, so first things first, I use a software called OBS to stream, so Open Broadcaster Software. So you're gonna to have to get this. So what you do is you go to obsproject.com, I'll leave the link in the description, or just Google OBS and it'll be the first thing that shows up. You wanna download? Um, just click, you know, download link and save it, open it, install it. Once you have installed it, you're gonna see this. It's gonna open up like this. The only thing you're not gonna have are the scenes the same as mine, but it's gonna look exactly like this. So first things first, the first thing you want to do is go to settings. Okay, settings again. Um, general, you can leave it the same unless you wish to change your language, I guess. Encoding, uh, I'm fine with the basic, the default encoding, I mean. But if you have a higher upload speed, I guess you could change this to higher, but I would rather not. I think this is what it's for, but I'd rather not. Um, broadcast settings. Now this is part is really important because without this, you're gonna be streaming to nowhere, so it won't really work. So what you wanna do is you wanna click your streaming service, select which one you want. Obviously, most of us use Twitch, most of MapleStory streamers, but you can use whatever else you want if you wanna switch it up or do another game or whatever, so click on Twitch. Um, click wherever you want to stream it from. It usually defaults a place, I think. After you click Twitch, it selects a place for you already, but if you'd like to like switch it up, go ahead. Um, you do need a stream key for Twitch though. So how do you get it? You gotta be logged into Twitch. Um, this is the homepage, by the way. So click on your name over here. Go down to dashboard. Once in dash dashboard, sorry, go to stream key and then click show key. So once you click show key, uh, a key is gonna appear which says live something. You can reset this key whenever you want, by the way, but I would suggest not showing it to other people because if you show this to other people and you don't reset it, they can stream to your channel. So make sure not to do that. Click paste, it'll be pasted here. And then all you have to click is apply. Now, if it does say something in red text here and it pops up a button saying optimize, click that button and then click apply again if you have to because yeah, only if it appears in red text. So you might have to click optimize. Uh, video, so this part is also really important because if you do not do this, then a bunch of black space will appear on your screen while you stream. So you have to have your custom base resolution. So what you do is you go to Maple, Go to settings, system options, and check your resolution. So mine is 1366 by 768. And this is usually what people have, unless like you have a really huge monitor or I don't know, you have like, you're playing like the old Maple Story, like Maple Legends, I believe is like 800 by 600. But anyways, so find whatever your resolution is and copy it into here. So mine, 136768, click apply and you're done. Uh, audio, you can obviously select which microphone you want to use, you know, edit some things here to find out what's better for you, hotkeys if you'd like to use some. Uh, you don't really have to change anything else here. Microphone noise gate if you'd like to change it, um, because whether your microphone's too loud or too low, you can do that as well. But usually, I just have everything on default. Click OK. Uh, so now, we're going to have to create a scene. So I'm just going to right click here, add scene. And we're just gonna name it MS, so I know. Wow, so I know uh, what it is. And yeah, so when you have a scene, you must have this scene clicked. I'll show you guys in a minute, actually. So okay, so inside the scene, so go into the MS scene we just created. There's gonna be sources. It's gonna be empty, of course. So you right-click, add, and you want to add a window capture. So once you click window capture, you're going to window and select Maple Story now. If MapleStory is not showing up here, it might be because you have it minimized. So if I minimize it, it'll be gone. So if you do have it minimized, just you know unminimize it, click refresh, and it'll be here. So just select it. Make sure it's inner window, and everything can be left the same since the subregion region is already here. You might have to talk. You might have to take this box for compatibility mode. Uh, this is something to do with your drivers and stuff if maples in one driver or something and like if the game is on one place and 
OBS is somewhere else or something like that. I'm gonna take it because I'm pretty sure I have to, but you might not have to, so don't take it unless you have to take it. Uh, click OK. And now, this is like the basic thing. So now if we click preview stream, which will just show it here, it won't actually start streaming. It'll just give us an idea of what it would look like if we started streaming right now. We can see Maple and Maple Story is full screen as you can see. So this is exactly how we want it to be. And yeah, so that's it. So now if you do want to start streaming, you have to click stop preview and click start streaming and it'll start streaming on your Twitch channel. But I'm not going to click that. But yeah, so preview stream and it's here. So now here in sources, um, you can add a bunch of other things. So if you have an overlay, for example, so I'm going to add an image. I'm just going to look for an overlay and open it. So there we go. So now an overlay is over here and you can see it on top of my window capture because this is MapleStory and this is my overlay. If it's the other way around, so if I set order to bottom, you will not see it because maple will be on top of it. So you want to make sure that your things are in the correct order because or else they will not show up whether whether one thing is bigger or not, I guess. If one thing's like bigger than the other, won't show up on screen or if one's covering the other up. So make sure it's in the correct order. If you'd like to add some text, just right click add text. Um, so if my text is going to be top donator, for example, I already have that written, but let's say my top donator was top donator. Um, so as you can see, it pops up on the corner over here. If I want to move it, I have to click edit scene and then I can drag it over here. And there you go. Now it's on top over there. So yeah, guys, this is how to set up your stream. Um, so now if I play Maple, if you guys can see over there in the corner, it's like moving correctly. You know, if I lose HP, if I use up my MP, you can see it like in the screen. Maybe it's a little small for you to see, but you can definitely like see things changing. So it is working. Um, so now you'd be like, oh, the stream preview is nice. So then you just start streaming. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to kind of explain how to set it up because a lot of people were having troubles and a lot of people wanted an explanation. So this is how to set up MapleStory. If you guys do have questions, please let me know. I might be doing some other tutorials on plugins as well and some other stuff if you guys want, of course. So yeah, I hope I helped some of you um, on this and I hope you enjoy streaming. And make sure to tell me if you're going to start streaming, guys, because I'd love to see more MapleStory streamers out there. So yeah, thank you all for watching this video. And happy mapling and happy streaming. I'll see you all later. Leave me questions if you have in the comments below. See ya. Bye-bye.